After the 1999 Kargil War, India saw a need to develop its own navigation system because it was denied access to GPS data by the US government. This realization led to the development of IRNSS or Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, also known as NAVIC. Apart from the US, Russia and China, India is only the fourth country in the world to develop its own system. But how does satellite navigation work in the first place? Satellite navigation uses a series of satellites placed in the Earth's orbit to calculate our positions. Now, let's say I want to find out where I am. First, I need to find out my distance from one of the satellites on the system. Let's say this satellite is around 18,000 kilometers away from me. So that puts me anywhere on the perimeter of a circle which is 18,000 kilometers away from this satellite. Next, I need to find out my distance from a second satellite. Let's say this satellite is 19,000 kilometers away from me. So this narrows down my position to two points, which is an intersection of these two circles. If I calculate my distance from a third satellite, which is say 20,000 kilometers away from me, I will be able to eliminate the second point and narrow down my location to a few meters. But just to be sure and eliminate any errors, I use a fourth satellite to confirm my location. But how do I calculate my distance from these satellites? The satellites which are in orbit are constantly beaming down radio signals that are picked up by our phones or our navigation devices. These satellites have atomic clocks that also send out the time at which the signal is beamed out. These atomic clocks are very very precise and in comparison to our watches, they never slow down. So now I know the speed of the radio signals, which is the speed of light. I know the time at which I received the radio signal and the time at which the signal was sent out. To put it very very simply, I can now calculate my distance from the satellite using the formula speed is equal to distance by time. GPS uses a network of 31 satellites to cover pretty much every location on Earth, whereas NAVIC uses only 7. But that's only because NAVIC is regional. It is designed to cover India and 1500 kilometers extending from its borders and eventually the entire subcontinent, Central Asia, the Middle East, Southeast Asia and parts of China. This is going to be the extended service region. GPS has been available for public use since the year 2000 and is the most popular global navigation satellite system which is available on our phones. NAVIC is still a relatively new technology with the last satellite being launched in 2018. So it's going to take a while for it to reach our smartphones. But some Redmi phones are already capable of using NAVIC data. In fact, Google Maps will be able to use NAVIC data seamlessly along with GPS and GLONASS data. The ships navigating the Indian Ocean are already using NAVIC data for daily operations. In order to understand how NAVIC works, let's split it into three segments. The space segment, ground segment, and user segment. The space segment consists of seven satellites, three satellites in geostationary orbits, and four satellites in geosynchronous orbits. The satellites have rubidium-powered atomic clocks, and these satellites are configured specifically for navigation. The ground system consists of various control stations located across India. Some of these include spacecraft control facilities to monitor and control the satellites, range and integrity monitoring stations to receive data from the satellites, network timing facilities which maintain the time of the entire navigation system using hydrogen and cesium clocks. The user segment consists of all the NAVIC receivers that use the navigation system. This includes smartphones, fleet trackers and so on. Another interesting fact that you can keep in mind is that the atomic clocks used across the board have been developed in-house by ISRO. Now it's going to take some time for NAVIC to gain popularity and widespread usage and I for one am waiting to try it out. But until then, stay tuned to Skill Link.